Hey what is up YouTube you're watching the review and unboxing of the Techno Camon 12 Air smartphone. So this is a recently released smartphone by Techno. Uh it lies in the budget category. Here at the box you can see some of the major specs written. So the different thing about this device is that it is coming up with a punch hole display in the price range of just rupees 20000 PKR. So that's what makes it special. So let's just quickly unbox this device and I will let you know more about what you're getting inside the box. So inside the box we got the device itself. This is the blue color Techno Camon Air. Uh it is having a triple rear camera setup at the back as you can see. So feels premium. Uh I did not expect that in this price range. Anyways, uh let's power this device on and let's unwrap it. So here you can see uh I like this device. It's kind of beautiful. It's not bad. So the build quality and design seems pretty elegant to me. Uh yeah. So the device is cool. Uh, apart from that, you're getting inside the box is why the hell is not opening. All right. So here you can see the warranty paper and card and stuff uh the paperwork and stuff like that let's put that to the side and apart from that you're getting a silicon pouch which is a bit textured for some reason and it's of good quality yeah okay apart from that we are getting the power brick which is of 2 ampere it's not uh it does not support fast charging and it's not that slow 1.2 ampere either so yeah that's a nice charger right here apart from that we're getting a usb data cable 2.0 no 3.0 supported no type c and an ejection pin to insert your sim card So let's power this device on and till the device boots let me give you guys a quick overview of this device. So here at the right side you can see the power key and the volume rockers. At the top we got nothing. At the left side we got the SIM insertion slot and at the bottom we got the bottom firing speakers, the micro USB 2.0 port as well as the headphone jack thankfully with the primary microphone located at the bottom. At the front you can see the hole punch display at the top left corner of the screen. So yeah, let's just set up my device real quick. At the back you can see a 16 megapixel rear camera which is a main ke primary camera with f aperture of 1.8 and the secondary is a wide angle 5 megapixel camera and the third is a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So yeah, here is the device. I have set this device up. Now you can see that all the basic features are mentioned at the settings about menu here you can see it's having a 4 gigabytes of ram 64 gigabytes of storage the camera setup the front camera is an 8 megapixel camera and an octa core cpu uh, along with a 4000 mAh battery and a 720p hd display along with android version that is pi of course So uh the thing uh which I did not like about this device is that although it is having an octa core processor but the GPU inside is Power VR and it is having a MediaTek processor now MediaTek processors are not good when it compares to the Snapdragon ones as they perform so shitty in gaming and stuff like that so I'm not happy with the processor they use there Apart from that let's jump into the camera and the camera here you can see uh consist of various modes and settings you can mess around with so the camera uh i basically hear people saying that the camera is not good on this device so i'm going to just check out myself uh talking about the rear camera when i used this device the rear camera was just fine it was decent not that bad but i had issues with the front camera uh the rear camera also tends to overexpose shots and here you can see as the video quality we're only getting 1080p no 1080p at 60 frames or 4k recording and here you can see the front camera 
uh it's not that great in my opinion but uh what more can you expect in under price range of rupees 20000 pkr so yeah that was the quick camera overview uh i'll talk about it more in the in depth review anyways it is having a android 9.0 pi here you can see the fingerprint scanner we are also getting with this device and the 720 panel looks good on this device although it's having a 4 gigabytes of ram and a 64 gigabytes of internal storage that is quite decent in this price range and it is also having a face unlock too by the way so uh, this device is also having a 4000 mAh battery which is gonna last you an entire day of moderate usage here you can see the notification panel and yeah the device feels quite snappy uh, at first i'm not sure how it's gonna perform after some months and months uh, this is a pretty decent device you can get if your budget is like around 20,000 pkr if you want a notch display then i don't think you're gonna get a notch display anywhere around this price tag and here you can see my picture uh, it doesn't look that great though but it's fine anyways the most important thing here you can see the rubbery ceiling type thing to protect it from water uh, the device is having hybrid sim slot you can insert both the uh, dual sims along with the memory card as well which can support up to uh, 256 gigabytes i think if i'm not wrong so yeah this is the device itself the techno camon 12 air it's a best budget device the bezels are minimum uh, it is quite snappy only uh, it's just not meant for gaming so you can cannot just uh, use it for that purpose mainly uh, if you wanna go towards the gaming section then don't go for this phone go for realme 5 or any other and here is the cutest thing i found about the smartphone is that when you switch towards the rear camera and front camera the, there's a quite animation going on at the top left of the screen which i like apart from that uh, the device is uh, decent it has all the basic necessities that's gonna help you out in day to day usage the screen although is a 720p panel but uh, it looks good the colors are decent the colors are not that bad and the viewing angles are also fine here you can see the notch display and the build quality is also great in my opinion there's nothing wrong with that and the rear camera setup it is also pretty decent it looks cool by the way and the glass glossy design at the back is a nice combination of overall device so i would recommend this device if you're looking for a budget device uh, without the high usage of the camera or gaming camera is, okay i'm talking more about the camera uh, in this review because the camera here as you can see from the shots i took uh, the color correction is not that accurate although it's fine the details are there but they are like just uh, normal you cannot say that the shots are that great in low light situation and here is the normal shot from the primary lens and the next shot i'm gonna show you is of the bouquet this is the bouquet effect here you can see the background is blurred quite and the uh, subject is uh, focused like it should be so yeah that was the quick review of the techno cam 12 wear if you guys have any queries you can comment down below and i'll answer them all so thank you so much for watching this video guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one till then take care this is ali shahid signing off peace